Matthew Perry is sharing his story. The Friends alum is telling it all in his new memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, which details his highs of highs and his lows of lows. During a recent interview with People Mag, Matthew shared why he felt like now was the right time to write a book detailing his life. Quote, I wanted to share when I was safe from going into the dark side of everything again. I had to wait until I was pretty safely sober and away from the addictive disease of alcoholism and addiction to write it all down. And the main thing was I was pretty certain that it would help people, he shared. The 53-year-old went on to recall a near-death experience he faced just a few years ago. He spent two weeks in a coma and five months in the hospital after his colon burst from opioid overuse. Quote, the doctors told my family that I had a 2% chance to live and I was put on a thing called an ECMO machine, which is all the breathing for your heart and your lungs. And that's called a Hail Mary. No one survives that, Matthew told People. The star said his battle with addiction started around the time he got cast on the hit NBC show at the age of 24, revealing, quote, by the time I was 34, I was really drenched in a lot of trouble, but there was years that I was sober during that time. Season nine was the year I was sober the whole way through, and guess which season I was nominated for Best Actor. I was like, that should tell me something. He also noted that at one point while on the show, he was taking 55 Vicodin a day and weighed only 128 pounds. But Matthew shared his castmates were, quote, understanding and they were patient. Matthew didn't disclose how long he's been sober, but he shared that he's been to rehab 15 times and wants his truth to help others. Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing hit stands November 1st.